Hello, Divine Masculine and Karmics. This is your reading now. Yay, we get to see what's going on with you two. No, see, I don't remember the other ones with Divine Masculine wandering, like trying to find his way, or Divine Feminine, but I remember y'all two. Oh, Lord, I remember y'all two, because you all just got fucking hitched, and you still have not stopped arguing. You know, like, look at this. <laughs> I just shuffled this. Look at this. Where is your mother? <laughs> like, you all crack me up. Like, I'm sorry, but it's just kind of like, Jesus Christ. I might separate you guys again. But I don't know, because I kind of have fun with you two being together. But it was just like, you know, where is your mother? Why are you doing this? How dare you? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Oh, some of y'all wanna are feeling left out in the cold, wanting to come back in with each other. You know? Which I totally understand. Like, I, I mean, I don't know. Love is love. But I don't but I, I'm at that age now where like I don't love anybody enough to put up with their bullshit. But good on y'all, because you know. Y'all love each other. You're doing your damnedest. You know, you're gonna be a pair, goddammit. So, let's see what the cards have for you. Oh. Eight of Cups. Yeah, like, n n you two aren't going anywhere. <laughs> I'll let you know right now, neither of you two seem like you want to go anywhere from each other. Um, and you ain't saying dick to each other either. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Right? We got the three of wands reverse and the thoughts and feelings for both of y'all. You got page of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Y'all are trying to work on it, though. Y'all are like a business venture. Or your guides are just working endlessly to be like, maybe if we fix this, it'll work for them or some shit. I don't know. Let's see. You also got ace of pentacles. Ooh. Are y'all working for some money? Is that what it is? Because it seems like it's going to be way harder than a... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's like, Jesus. Um... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all aren't communicating, but you're feeling a lot of shit, right? And you're doing actions that aren't doing anything at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. You, like, I'm, I'm really happy I set this up like this now. Because this is actually like, uh, you too, I swear. Vibration, justice. Once again, Divine Feminine actually had this card as her energy. This is y'all's. What the fuck is that about? This is like karma? What of the good kind? Like, are you guys trying to, you know, get some shit? Trying to sort your stuff out? Mind you, I'm using the, um, uh, for real? What's going on with you two? Alright, no more for laughing because, like, that was rude. I apologize. But still, it's like, hmm. Mind you, I'm using right or weight because they're way more honest. Like, to a fault, to where it's just like, whoa, dude, you need to calm down. So I figured this will be easier for y'all. Yay. Plus, Ryder doesn't get used as much as he should. Okay. Seven of Cups Har, right? Y'all want to let the fuck go and you can't. It's like something's holding you back. It's a choice, really. Um, not uh, based on actions, not on emotion. Like, y'all want to go, but you're not letting yourselves go. Uh, because there's still this Ace of Pentacles, which happens to also be a fucking dragon. It's just, it's tempting. It's just like, uh, I just uh, put it all over my tongue, spray it all over my face, all over my titties. I don't care, as long as it's money. You know? Like, that, like that, that's a weird... That's a weird expression, because I wouldn't fucking normally say that. Yeah, and you guys are trying to come out of this shit. Same way you can get done. Like, you got that light right on. That's dragon, which is like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because, like, you know, justice is over here, and that's a karma card. And it's like, it's weird that, um, 
you know, you and Divine Feminine, y'all, have the same exact vibration. But it's like, your vibration isn't the same. You guys got the same car, but I'm not feeling shit. It's like they wanted the right thing to happen for them. They were looking for good karma, justice somewhere. It's like you guys are doing something completely different. Sorry, I'm drinking tonight, so, you know. I don't give a fuck. Um, it's almost like... It is almost like you guys are justifying. Not justice, justifying, right? Um, what... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two are, are just going to be... Okay, I love this reading. I really love it because it's like... It's like sitting here watching two people who hate each other. Um, trying their damnedest to make shit work, you know? It's like, have you ever seen that movie, like, uh, What's the Worst That Could Happen? With um, Martin Lawrence and Danny DeVito? Where it's just like there's that one couple who's constantly screaming shit at each other is just like I hate you and then the woman's like oh god damn I love that fat bastard you know that's what it kind of reminds me of it's like you guys don't even like each other but you love each other more than you like each other that's what it reminds me of and I think it's really cute I, I, I admire you guys for hating each other to a point where like you'll still make it work just to make each other miserable because that's kind of the thing I'm getting right here. Fun fact! Baby powder does great with sweating. I'm just letting y'all know because my AC is fucked. I got fans galore. I have five fans running in my house. And it's just like, oh, well, this almost feels like a fucking breeze. Like a blow dryer to the face. <laughs> Alright, so this, um... Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone is not talking about being single. Being a trophy wife. Being that person who's all alone, happy and shit. Like, neither one of you two are actually talking about what you want. And, yeah. Ten of Wands reverse both sides. Yeah. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Both. Okay, you guys just got married. On the 5D. Like, literally. Okay, you remember the last time I mentioned that, like, I had a second Divine Masculine, right? Like, crazy tasty shit, right? Like, it was like, as soon as they announced, like, they were together with their, like, Karmic, shit just started going wrong with them. Immediately. And I feel like that's what's going on with you guys. It's like... It's almost like shit's starting to look bad, but I don't know why. Like, something just came out of nowhere and fucked things up for you. Like, you guys don't want to take a leave of faith? You don't want to deal with... It's like you guys don't want to deal with karma by yourselves. It's like you're too scared to fucking say, Hey, I want to fuck off. Can I please fuck off? I will fuck off away from you as far as possible. You know, there's nothing wrong with telling people you don't want to be with them. Like, I understand you guys care about each other, but, like, if you guys make each other miserable, like... Can't y'all just be friends with benefits or some shit? Or, like, friends? Because, I, I like, I don't want you guys to split up and never talk to each other completely. Because that's not the point of this. But it, it is my point to point out things that are in between with y'all. And it's like... Like, I hate pe seeing people unhappy. It's, it's, like, so fucked, man. Like, you guys care about each other so much, and I really genuinely feel like you guys do love each other. But it's like, you know, how much do you love somebody before you realize they're murdering you in spirit? You know, there was a guy who I was completely in love with in my early 20s, right? This dude was a complete piece of shit to me. And I knew 
I knew he was being like possessive and shit, right? Because he'd be like, I don't even know how to spell the word possessive, so how can I be possessive? And you know, when once I broke up with him, I was just like, yeah, keep telling me how ignorant you fucking are, so I can verify that you would do ignorant shit. You know, he didn't like that too much. Because I would call him out on his bullshit. That's probably why my masculine left, because I called her out on her bullshit, right? But either way, it was just kind of like, you know... It was like this person was mad because, like, I wanted an autonomy. I wanted to have a good time. I wanted to have friends. You know, which I lost a lot of friends by staying with this fucker. Mind you, only a fucking year. But it doesn't take that long for someone to convince you that, um... All you need is them. You don't need friends. You don't need family. You know, I was in the... T I've been in, like, three different abusive relationships, and that was the nicest one, you know? And this cat would always tell me, you know, like, yo, you can move out of my house if you're going to go hang out with your friends while he was in jail. And I'd just be like, oh, okay, well, then your ex-girlfriend can just take all your shit, can't she? And then he, all of a sudden, the tune would change. It was like, as soon as he found out... And, and that's the thing. It's like... I, I feel like it's like... It doesn't have to be the karmic, it could be the masculine too, but it's like, it almost feels like, to me, someone is isolating another person, making them feel like, you know, oh, you don't need anybody else, all you need is me, and it's like, that's not healthy. If someone tells you that they're all you need, that you're, that they're all you need, you need to fucking run, because that person's trying to convince you to throw people away. You know, be careful of that shit, like, you know, oh, you don't need anybody else, I do it just for you, you're not gonna find anybody better, or, you know, oh, these people are a piece of shit, I'm the only one who cares for you. Um, be very careful with that, I feel like. Like, good example, fucking Tanya, the, um, lead-wielding ice skater that I did a reading on last night. Um, gaslighting tactic, light, right? Sorry, I've been drinking. Anyway. Gaslighting tactic. She goes around fucking with my fucking channel, leaving comments and then deleting them right after. And then when I call her out on it, she's just like, I'm sorry, I you took it the wrong way. One of those things, right? Where it's just like, it wasn't me taking it the wrong way. It was her getting upset because I called her out on her bullshit. And then she tried to turn it around on me to make it seem like it was my fault that I looked at her fuckery. The way for what it is, you know. I give a fuck less how I fucking take shit. How I take shit is how I take shit. If you present it in a fucked up manner, I'm telling you it's a fucked up manner. Um, and I feel like whoever this is, either karmic or masculine, someone's taking someone's percep perception, because that's very important. Don't ever let anybody destroy your perception and make, them feel, make you feel like you need theirs in order to make sure you're correct. Once you do that, you don't have any more free will. It feels like someone's trying to um, convince somebody else that their perception's wrong in this. And I don't like that. Please be careful, you two. I don't know which one's doing it. You both could honestly be doing it to each other, which makes it even worse. But it's like, you know... Oh, I just dropped all my cards and bent them, but I got the next three. Goody. But, you know, um... It could be both of you doing this, but I really feel like someone's doing some gaslighting bullshit, and I do not approve. I am not cool with that shit. Don't gaslight people. Uh, don't gaslight me, because I'll be the first one to be like, what do you mean? Um, that's how I took it. How else am I supposed to take sh some shit like that, you know? Throw that shit in the motherfucker's face the next time they try to bullshit you and tell you that you're wrong about something. See what the fuck happens. See if they get mad at you and upset with you and act like it's your fault for you getting upset at their actions. Because I'll tell you right now, that whole motherfucking idea of, like, you know, um, you attract people who are just like you, or nobody can make you fucking feel whatever way you feel, that's some bullshit. Because if that didn't, was true, narcissist wouldn't exist. Right? Right. Next three cards. Three of wands reverse. Somebody's thinking, possibly both of you, of, like, cutting this shit out. Just being like, do I really want to invest any more emotions? You know, people's intuitions are coming in about, like, this cycle being ended and having to fix their hearts, right? I'm sorry I went on that ramble, but it's just, like, I hate people getting taken advantage of. Like, you know, I'm a Capricorn. Like, I see, I see you. I see you. You. Yes, you. I see you. You know, I can see when someone's doing some deceptive shit. Because everyone thinks that Capricorns do deceptive shit. And it's like, no, dude, I just know exactly what the fuck I feel. It's just, 
that's what it feels like. It feels like people are justifying fucking abusive relationships in this from either port, you know? So Page of Wands, um, or not Wands, Cups, my bad. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone trying to offer her love with this fucking burden. Like, keep offering her love, right? I feel like some of y'all feel like, you know, if you take a break, it'll be okay. <laughs> Which is like, that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Like, some of y'all are in abusive relationships and you need to get the fuck out of there. Like, no, breaks won't work. Um, some of you want to let your guard down during this break, too. And that's just going to lead you to, you know, really, okay. Somebody's cheating. I'm, I'm going to just call this one right out, right here. Somebody's cheating. Because when their cups spilled, it went to justice. Right? There are two other cups here. That's the love, but that goes with this fucking burden. It's like... Someone keeps offering their cup to the burden that won't lessen up. And then feeling bad because, you know, they want to go do the right thing. They're trying to rest. They're trying to let their guard down. They want to go this way, but they feel sad because they got to stick around for this burden. I feel like someone's cheating here. I don't know who. I don't know what. Doesn't really matter. Could be both of you. Could be one of you. I don't know, but it's like... It's like y'all are just fucking... Y'all don't like each other at all. Three of fucking sword. Like, y'all crack me up, and, and I shouldn't laugh because it is some serious shit. But it's like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, like the signs... Everywhere. Like, you know... Like, even this card right here, when Divine Feminine popped up with it, didn't bother me. Me sitting here and watching this with you guys, it fucking bothers me. Because it's like, this isn't justice, this is justification. Trying to make everything right as if it's good karma, which is like, no, this isn't good karma. This is something completely different, y'all. This is like abuse between the two of you. Like, if, if one isn't abusing the other, you both are doing it. There's no way it can be just... There's no way nobody's doing this, because this actually is kind of... Like, I'm trying to laugh, because that's like my defense mechanism to traumatic shit, but it's like, I'm not really... It's nowhere near as funny as what I'm trying to make it out to be. Trying to work things out is also not what you're making it out to be, because that's not right. That's not right. At all. Hmm. Definitely have the, uh, the wrong idea about how to work things out. Um. Ooh. Devil card. Possibly Capricorn involved in this as well. Hmm. Yeah, you're trying to work it out, but you're not looking at the truth, which is like, y'all aren't good for each other, and this shit needs to be broken up. Straight up. Like, it not, no filter, no jokes, no nothing. Break the fuck up. Like, Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Dear Lord. Yeah, like, you all need to separate from each other, because, like... I, I really feel like someone's gaslighting and abusing somebody. Like, I can't shake that shit. This is justification, not justice. What good karma comes out of a situation where, like, neither of you are really saying what you need to say? And a whole slew of cards just fell out from Rider Waite, so I guess I better read them. Okay, so this could be karmic, right? She wants to come back in from the cold. But she's got nigga as a liability. Or this is Divine Masculine leading her because she might be a liability to him. A new beginning would come as soon as y'all try to figure out where your beast lies and where your angel lies. Because this bitch is holding the shadow back. That's how I've been reading, like, Strength Card Reverse. It's like someone's holding back their vicious side. And it's like you guys need to start doing that. Because if you don't, like, nothing's going to happen. You're going to keep living with this baggage. And then the tr real justice will come out with all the fucking secrets. 
Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Dragon here, right? Like... Hi, kitten. What are you doing? Coming to see with mommy? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, you need a spouse to the floors for love. Yes. That's my pretty little girl. Yes, you are. So, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Um, whatever was supposed to begin with that, there's death. So, that's out. Something died with this whole, like, new... Uh, I want to say financial venture, but it doesn't even have to be financial. It just could be something strong enough to bring you wealth or whatever else. Um, someone might want to start arguing about this right here. Oh, Lord. What? Wait, 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 wait. Caution. Wasn't this? Oh. Someone's got finally got the balls to say enough is enough because it's keeping them up at night. Holy shit, this burden, right? Shit was unfair. Secrets came out. Pisces are cancer. And now someone's sad. Now someone's sad sitting under the tree being like, God damn it. Like, I wish I had that one cup now. Because now I'm looking at this three that are knocked over over here. Because someone wanted to justify things. Karmics and masculines? Um, I think y'all are going to have a talk with each other. Um, I don't know what of, I don't know what it is, but y'all need to have a talk, because, like, whatever this, whatever this Ace of Pentacles was, this dragon, it's dead. Someone murdered it, and now a knight's just running in to do whatever, and it's, something's become a nightmare for somebody. To which they have to voice that shit somewhere. Something's happened, I don't know, either someone lost money somewhere, and now people are trying to, you know, justify that shit. Right? Mm. Masculines and karmics. You're trying to take care, man. I feel like everybody just got broke all at once. Like, wandering masculines, you know, they don't have money, but they're but they're in the a, in a middle of a fucking spiritual journey, right? Y'all, I don't know what the fuck is going on with you guys, but it's like... After y'all got married on the 5D, it's like y'all just figured out you don't click. And now it's like somebody figured out that, you know, the relationship is bad. Like, bad. And now it's like, we gotta cancel that shit. We gotta cancel it like it's James Charles or I'm Alex or whoever else gets canceled. I don't know. I don't understand the whole cancel car culture anyway. But it's whatever. But yeah, it's like, um, y'all gotta figure some shit out. Because it's starting to get bad. Like, I'm not even trying to make jokes anymore. No? And I'm like, I'm a person who likes to make jokes. I, I like making people laugh, right? But it's like... Like, actually... Let me see. What's coming up for y'all? Because I'm going to draw extra cards for you. Because fuck it. You know. Like, I don't have to like you. At all. To, like, want to help you. You know? It's my better nature. But that probably makes me an asshole, too. For invading people's personal space. To tell them, this is what you should do, you know. Insecurities. Uh, snakes all up in your yard. You're just looking at them like, hey, I'm gonna name you Bob. What you do, Bob? I eat human people. That's cool. Just don't eat me, Bob, you know. It's just kind of like, you know, you got snakes in your yard. That's what you got to insecure about. Both of you. Um... Someone definitely wants to walk away from this shit after all this time. But it's like they're, they don't have anything to offer. They don't have any skills. They don't have any talents. Like, they're looking over it before they even offer it. Like, man, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, right? Uh, yeah. Taking action and trying to start something new will definitely bring some, like, chaotic results. And a lack of communication as well. So, karmics and masculines over together, please, for the love of whatever, take care of yourselves, you know? Because 
I feel like whoever is the abusive one in this relationship, it doesn't matter who it is, could be both of y'all, right? Is, um, gonna get that, uh, justification really fucking soon. And once they do get justification, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. That was the reading. If you all enjoyed this reading, or if I fucked you up just a little bit, thank you very much for watching. Didn't mean to, but you know, I, I still appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. If you want a personal reading, first one's on the house, the next one's 10, and then like after that, they're straight 20s. Um, emails in the uh, description box below, as well as the pay options. I will see you guys later. Please, take care of yourselves. I don't want to, um, I don't like anything bad happening to anybody, you know, even if I, I, I hate you, even though there's only like maybe two people in the world I actually fucking hate, maybe, but please take care of yourselves. I hate to see anybody go through a rough time, you know, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Love ya.